science, technology, engineering, and math are the subjects collectively known as STEM. Schools across the country are making the switch to STEM education to promote hands-on learning and improve student engagement. In my special report, I have more information on the benefits of STEM and how schools in the Valley are implementing this curriculum. Science is more than a school subject or the periodic table or the properties of waves. It is an approach to the world, a critical way to understand and explore and engage with the world, and then have the capacity to change that world. This quote from former President Barack Obama emphasizes the importance of STEM education in today's society. Strength in STEM has many perks from the individual level through the global scale. These include projected job growth, higher median wages, and critical thinking, just to name a few. In order to have more innovators, educators, and leaders, we need higher proficiency in STEM subjects with our students and teachers of every grade level. As our world becomes ever more based on technology and on emerging sciences in ways that we can't even imagine now, having a, a population that's very educated about the way science works and the way that technology is influencing our lives is very, very important. On a global scale, the United States ranked 38th in math literacy and 24th in science literacy in the year 2015. Now this is based on a test known as the Program for International Student Assessment, which is given to 15 year olds around the world every three years. On a more local level, high schoolers in Alabama and Georgia fall below the national score deemed college ready on both the math and science ACT. You can't start getting kids ready for calculus when they get in the ninth grade. That has to start down in kindergarten. Rather than seeing scores as a source of defeat, teachers and administrators throughout the Valley are using the data to better the education system. The Phoenix City School District has implemented smart labs in all seven elementary schools. These labs encourage hands-on, minds-on learning through coding exercises, robotics, and circuitry. By having them involved, engaged, we're just taking advantage of their natural curiosity. They're learning and they don't even realize that they're learning. And a great thing about STEM, you don't have to be the top in your class to excel in the smart lab. Because what we see is not just our, our straight A structured students who are, do, who are used to doing well in an academic environment. It's almost like everybody shines in the smart lab. Back in Georgia, Muskogee County teachers are working on implementing their own STEM curriculum. Diamond Magnet Academy is in the process of becoming STEM certified, a designation that has proven beneficial to schools across the state. Of the 22 elementary schools that have been certified, 18 of them are, are uh, scoring above the state average in math. And out of that 18, 14 of them are high poverty schools. So we think that speaks very well for the STEM curriculum because it begins to answer the question of why do I need to know this? Opportunities outside of the classroom keep STEM learning fun. Columbus State University's Coca-Cola Space Science Center hosts programs throughout the year for students of all ages. We also have relationships with various school districts where they bring their children in and we do targeted programming that address the science standards for a variety of age groups, all the way from kindergarten all the way through high school. And that's a very exciting program for us because we know we're inspiring that future generation of scientists, engineers, and science educators. STEM is the hot topic of education today. It promotes skills that are beneficial not only for STEM careers, but for any field a student may pursue in the future. The sky is the limit. Station Odyssey, this is Mission Control Houston here. Are you ready for T minus 10 second countdown? For News Leader 9, I'm meteorologist Mallory Schnell. And a fun fact there, Diamond Magnet Academy, the elementary school here in Muskogee County, they are on the way to become STEM certified. Uh, and once they get that designation, they'll be the only one in the county, the only elementary, middle, or high school to have that certification. That's really impressive. And, and the things the students are able to do with this hands-on learning is mm -hmm. really, really neat. Yeah, it really improves their critical thinking. Um, and if you explore STEM, maybe one day you'll be a meteorologist and you may be up here like me. There you go. But we'll segue over to weather now. We are keeping our eye on a cold front that's making its way across Across the United States at this time. You can see the low pressure center uh, is centered in Canada with that cold front really draping all the way down into Mississippi and we're at the tail end of that. So we are seeing a few showers this morning, a few rumbles of thunder out there, but not looking at any severe weather for today. All of that really is concentrated up in the northeast. So really from Washington DC up into the New England area, they do have a chance for severe weather today. We are just looking forward to the cooler temperatures. So you can see where that cold front is based on the color 
colors of the map. We are much warmer here in Columbus than they are in Nashville. 20 degrees is the current temperature over in Kansas City at this time. 34 in Little Rock and 24 degrees in Oklahoma City. So the cooler weather is on the way. It's just lagging behind this cold front that will continue to push southeastward throughout the day. You can see the change in the temperature spread there with the 24 hour temperature change map. Now that by the afternoon it won't be too chilly out there. Those high temperatures in the mid 60s under mostly sunny skies. So overall a nice day here in the Chattahoochee Valley and looking outward. Of course, a lot of celebrations going on down in New Orleans this weekend, looking at very nice weather there as well with sunny skies and those high temperatures in the upper 60s.